take your privacy seriously. You guys should check out private internet access. Link will be below. They got a great deal going on. What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be looking at full Android Oreo emulator. Uh, it's version 1.1. Uh, this is actually pretty nice. Now, you can resize the Android emulator window, but they also have how you can do it full screen. Okay, so there is plenty of options. Again, it's portable. There's no install. However, you do need to install uh, one thing though, uh, which comes packaged with it. So once you download it, you're gonna have this zip, okay? So you're gonna unzip it. You're gonna go into the folder here, hardware accelerated uh, execution manager. You're gonna install this. Once it installs, you do not need to reboot. You're gonna hit start emulator. That's all you need to do, okay? So I'm gonna hit start emulator. You can cancel this. You may get this little prompt. You could just hit okay, close, apply, and there you go. The emulator opens up. As you can see, I got some stuff on here. Now you do have a little sidebar here of power, volume, rotate, take picture, zoom, your back button, home button, and overview, which is the multimedia multitasker. You have this little uh, dot here, and then you have a pile of options here. So location, cellular uh, signal stuff that you can mess with, battery stuff you can mess with, phone stuff you can mess with, directional pad, microphone, fingerprint, um, virtual uh, sensors, bug report, record screen, Google Play, which you can update the store. You got pile of settings here, proxy, uh, show window frame around uh, device, proxy, and you got some uh, emulator render settings, which I wouldn't mess with these and then you got help okay so it's pretty basic um, Android emulator in terms of you know something compared to Knox and blue stacks however this runs really friggin nice um, I was testing out a couple things it's rooted so you can do lucky patcher you can load up Cody um, as you can see here Cody loads up and it runs fine okay oops As you can see, got some add-ons there. Let's test them out. So we'll close out of this. Like UFC works. Um, as you can see, if I open it up, which you can use like a uh, Lucky Patcher to do uh, stuff with these. So some stuff will take a minute to come up. Okay. So as you can see, UFC works. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. You got the full store. Obviously, it's not no mimicked thing now <clears throat> I am gonna note if you do want to do gaming on this you're going to need an Android device and you're gonna need to get this droid mode basically what it does is it emulates uh, the touch because unlike the other emulators that are out there they obviously have this little keypad where you can, you know, put a key for your keyboard. So if you're in a game, you're able to shoot and all that. This emulator doesn't have it. So I would say this is more of a, you know, media style, um, some basic apps to mess with, you know. So if you wanted to do something like, you know, a Viber, texting apps, Kodi, uh, you know, Netflix, all that stuff on your PC, you're able to do it. Um, but in terms of gaming, you will need Droid Mode. However, he may add support for a gamepad and controller, so you could actually fully game on here, uh, which would be nice. But I figured I would show this uh, to get you know some love toward this because this is pretty, pretty cool. I know there is other uh, NuGet emulator-based emulators. I have not come across one that is a standalone kind of like. Blue Stacks, Nox, uh, Nemu, that is Oreo. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace out, and see you in my next one. Made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, on the left is a video in Melee, and on the right, you can check out my last video again. 
thank you for checking out the video. It means a lot. See you on my next one. Peace.